Greetings from Pod Gaming. My name is Surinamo and I will be your guide to the first chapter of Syndicate. I am playing the game on my PC with my Xbox controller locked and loaded for the action. The chapter that you will see in this video is called Wake Up Call and I can understand why Kylo doesn't like them either. As mentioned, we are playing as Kylo, the latest prototype agent who is equipped with the new prototype Dart 6 chip. At this very moment, we are a little bit tied up and I don't think that this was a booty call gone wrong. Actually, we are inside the test area specially prepared to test Eurocorp's new prodigy. At this point I think I have a little bit of time to say a few things about the game itself. Syndicate came out of February 21 in North America and February 24 in Europe. Its rebirth of the Syndicate series completely changed the genre from a tactical shooter to an FPS. If we are returning back to the game, we can already see that we are getting hit by a witless army guy. I can only say, Mom, I don't wanna go to school today. And I will tell ya that this works every time. Unless an army guy hits you right in the face. But now we can press the right trigger to let him know what we think about his wake up methods. Of course he is coming back for more, like the dog in the old Tom and Jerry tunes. The time has come for our glorious escape from this chair of evil and I will use my awesome strength to press X on my Xbox controller to release myself from these low level cuffs. I'm free at last and now I can control the world. So anywho, we are moving our hero around with the left stick and camera with the right stick. If we press the left stick in while moving we get a sprinting sensation. If we press B while sprinting we can do this awesome matrix like slide that didn't do anything good here actually. We can jump over obstacle pressing A and open some areas holding X. Of course we can also pick up object with X and much much more. Here we get to Psychomaniac Shopper that we can easily get hacked into with holding down the left bumper. Soon this copter is a thing of a past and we can proceed with our little adventure. Bon voyage you little stinger. Now we just have to press B and crash to this pile of cement garbage. When we get out of here we just have to sprint straight into the next door to initiate this awesome breaking sequence. Oh yeah. Now that was just awesome. And now we just have to get up and kick this guy in his teeth with a special move provoked by pressing the right stick in. And here it is. Kapow! Right in the face! We get his gun because the man's best friend is an APP 3 pistol, alright? Before moving on we have to go upstairs first to grab our first business card, there are two in this chapter. And we also have to find three propaganda posters located somewhere. Here we just press X to break the chain or we can of course shoot it. We proceed to the first propaganda poster located over here and press the right bumper to acknowledge it. Now to an optional task of my liking, trade me in killing moves. Now let me show you my kitchen. It's like a naked chef sensation without the chef part. On the table we can find the second business card what makes 2 out of 2. In this next area we have to get to the ladder on the other side of the room that leads to a control room above. Finally we will find some guys that are prepared to eat our bullets. We will take cover here and just lean forward to shoot them up. After some time, actually after they are finished, we just get to the switch and unleash our special powers by holding the X button. Now the door downstairs has opened and more guys will come in, but don't worry cause I'm ready for anything, especially after the two day Resident Evil marathon with Urki. And there will be a co-op walkthrough of Resident Evil 5 out soon for anyone interested in that. But right now you can see that if you press down the right bumper you can actually see the position of enemies around you. And I will show you how to use that in combat. Needless to say the, the soldiers in here aren't really smart and with the dart overlay power you can easily take them down. As you can see the first one was just begging to get shooted right away. Now we just have to find the others. The second one is a runner. But that doesn't mean his intelligence is any better than the first one. He is hiding around here somewhere, but his problem is my newly found power. The third one is just waiting at the door and I don't know if he would ever move. 
Maybe he's just shy and does, doesn't really have that many friends. The boss yells at him at the office and every day of his life he has to take a bullet for his paycheck. I tell you what, that has to suck. But to more pressing matters at hand, we can finally leave this area and get out of the streets where the real action is. Here we can find a lot of fun things to shoot at. Of course, another try target practice on Eurocorps Peril. The most effective and of course fun way to kill enemies is to shoot at the barrels. But be aware of the guy on the balcony, he has a grudge on Kylo since the middle school. They were like brothers, but Kylo gave him a nickname and everyone started to call him Poopy Cock. Nah, just kidding. But still, you have to shoot his sorry ass. At this point I have to say that I really like the mechanics of the game so far and I think the game has brought some new ideas into the gaming world. After the last one of the enemies is down, we can go further and pick up our new assault rifle. Oh yeah! Now we have to proceed into the next room and walk towards the stairways that lead to our next propaganda poster. It's the second poster that means we only need one more. Of course again we press the right bumper to acknowledge it. Now we found a woman in distress and oh my god! It's Kylo's former art teacher! She was so friendly. And Kylo had a little crush on her. He always painted the same rainbow over and over again. Ah, good old Miss Gravel. Well then, after a little shooting practice we can continue to our last poster located beneath the stairs. Like for previous posters we press right bumper when we get near it. And we are already on the last shooting practice. On these stairways you can see enemies hiding behind walls and the dart overlay can really help to point them out when they try to attack you. As you can see they are sneaking behind walls and waiting for the moment that you are unprepared. But they don't know that we can easily see them moving around and that really makes them easy targets. Now we just have to move up the stairs and be prepared for some sneak attacks. If we get close to a target we can easily take them out with pressing the right stick in. As you can see here Kylo pulls his awesome killing moves and stops the enemy. Well folks we are almost at the end of the first chapter of Syndicate. So I will take a moment and say a few things about us. We are a fairly new gaming group and we hope that we can be entertaining to you guys. Because our only goal is to help people, when they get stuck in games, and be entertaining while doing so. Syndicate walkthroughs will continue of course, with and without my commentaries. Soon we will start to upload the new FIFA Street material and the coop walkthrough of Resident Evil 5 starring me as Chris and Urki as Shiva. So I hope you'll be watching us and if you like us please comment like it and subscribe to our channel. There will be a lot of material coming out soon, but for now this is it. I was your host Surinamo from Pod Gaming, and we will see us next time. Goodbye.